Hello, welcome to this short tutorial on sharing content in your ePortfolio. In this video, we will discuss a few ways that you can make information you create available to groups or individuals. When you log into your ePortfolio, you can elect to share information you have created in a few ways. The easiest way to start the sharing is simply to click on the share link on the front of your dashboard page. This takes you directly to the shared by me area of your portfolio. The same spot can be accessed by selecting the portfolio tab at the top of your dashboard and then selecting shared by me from the top navigation list. When you get to this area, you will be presented a list of all the pages in your portfolio. As you can see, your profile page is automatically shared with the UWI Open Campus community. However, as you can see, I already have one page that I have shared with the Open Campus facilitators, but I have two other pages I have recently created, and you can see that they have not been shared with any group or person. So, let's say I want to share this Learn About TLET page with a few of the groups I belong to. I would click on the little lock icon, which appears to the right of the page name, and I am presented a new page which identifies the page I'm trying to share, as well as giving me a drop down menu to select so that I can choose who I would like to share the page with. If I wanted to add a group that I do not belong to, I can simply select group and then scroll down or search the list of existing groups and choose one. However, if I want to share with the group I belong to, such as the TLET group, I simply scroll down and select the group name. This group appears at the bottom because I am a member of the group. Once I have done that, you see that I am given an option to set time parameters around when the page is to be opened and viewable by this group. I can set a specific time and date for opening and closing the permissions to this page. So let's say I want this page to be available starting November 10th, but I will not set a closing date because I want it to be available to them on a continuing basis. After doing that, I can share the page with more people. For example, my colleague Nicole has said she would be happy to preview this for me and suggest any changes she feels could improve the document. So I want to make this available to her before anyone sees it. So let's say from November 5th through November 9th. That way I can get her feedback and make any changes I need to before it is open to anyone else. When I am done deciding on who the page will be shared with, I save it and I am brought back to my list and I now see that this page has been shared not only with Nicole, but also the TLET group. Suppose though, I realize I want anyone who sees the Learn About TLET page to also see the overview of the program, since it provides a little bit more detail. I could easily then share the page with the same people and groups, or I have the option to share a group of pages to these same people by creating a collection. A collection lets you organize a group of pages that you believe belong together and are commonly shared with groups or individuals. In this way, you can make sure that they have access to all of the information you want to share with them and not have to rely on them to search for individual pages. To create a collection, simply select the collections link at the top of the page this will bring you to the collections area. As you can see, I have no collections identified yet. 
So I can either select to add a collection from the middle of the page here or select the new collection link at the top right corner. On this page, I am asked to create a name for the collection, which I will call for this example, TILA Information, and provide a short description if I wish. I can also create tags to make this collection appear in any searches. And lastly, I can have a navigation bar appear to help viewers identify where they are when viewing the collection. I will say yes, as a navigation bar does help the viewers. To continue building the collection, I then select the button at the bottom of the page that says Edit Collection Pages. I am then provided a list of my available pages. If I check the box on the right next to the page names, they will be added to the collection. By clicking the Add Pages button, I am provided a list of the pages and I have the ability to change the order in which they are presented simply by using the up and down arrow to move them in the list. When I have decided the order they will be viewed, I then just need to select Done and I will be brought back to the collection page and I will see it is now on my list of collections. I can then edit this collection at any time, adding additional pages or removing pages as I wish. So now, if I wish to share this collection, I need to select the Shared by Me link at the top of the page, and I will see the collection listed as an available resource to share. Just like I did with the individual pages, I need to click on the little lock icon next to its name, and I can select who I want to share the collection with. Now, it is important that you understand any single page can be shared to any number of people, but once it is a part of a collection, it will not be listed any longer as an individual page for you to share. In addition, a page can only belong to one collection. So you will need to plan carefully and identify specifically which pages are to be seen by what groups and then share accordingly. This concludes this tutorial on how to share content that you have created in your ePortfolio. In your courses, you will be given opportunity to create and share files, either in collections or individually, so I hope you have paid attention and find this to be one of those tasks that become second nature to you. Thank you for listening.